Hello guys, Matt here and welcome to another episode of our Leeds Career Mode series. So today's games, uh, first off includes a game against Cardiff in the Carabao Cup round of 16. Uh, I would say no to a cup run. Uh, being in our second season in the Prem now, we are established. So it would be great if we obviously won the Carabao Cup, got into Europe. But we'll see what happens, but I am going to sim it. I think we have more than enough in our second team to brush aside Cardiff and get through to the next round. Our first league game is then against Stoke uh, Bottom. They haven't won a game yet, so I've, surely that is definitely going to be a win. But we'll see. You know what FIFA's like. Our second game is going to be against Aston Villa. And then we finish off with a tough one. Last time we played, so last episode, Man City were top of the league, I think. I might be wrong, but I'm sure they were. Uh, so that's going to be a tough one to finish off the episode. But obviously I'll take two wins out of Stoke and Villa. And if we have to drop points against Man City, then it's not too bad. So our Carabao Cup game, as you can see, we've gone through 5-4 on penalties against Cardiff. Roberts getting our goal, Tomlin getting there. So uh, it would have been better just to beat him in normal time, but it had to go to penalties. Uh, so we made it hard work, but we scored all five of ours by the looks of it. So very happy with that. So we're going to get straight into the game against Stoke. It's our strongest lineup. The only worry I've got is that Prado is lacking a bit of fitness. So he's not going to last a full game. So Click is eventually going to come on at some point. So Stoke are bottom of the league, very important we do get uh, three points in this, if we don't then something's wrong. They've lost every game they've played and they've conceded loads and hardly scored any so very important we get a couple of goals, get the morale up and uh, get onto the other games and finish off with a game against Man City with a, obviously with a bit of form and we can uh, get a decent result against them. Vokes. Oh, works it inside. White. Oh, how lucky was that? Oh, what a save, Patricio. That's a beautiful ball. Greenwood. He got it with Lee. Onto his weaker right foot. Oh, what a block that was. Federici just picks it up. Lee. Finds Greenwood. He's got a lot of work to do. He's got the pace. He's got the skill. Can he get a shot away? He can. How close was that? A finesse shot. Click. Recently come on. Feeds Lee. Lee's getting caught up. How can he get caught up? That's ridiculous. Wriggles away from his man though. Oh, Click with the assist. That was his first touch. He's recently come on. And Lee, he has a lot of work to do. And it shows his man's catching up to him. He's putting him off. But eventually he does wriggle away. Brushes him off. And he smashes it into the back of the net. Into the roof of the net. What a goal. It's been a really tough game against Stoke. We can't really break them down. They are fighting for their lives early on in the season as well. Without a win on the board so far. And thankfully Lee puts us 1-0 up. Oh, they've worked inside the box. Mate. Oh, it's offside. Thankfully. Campbell squeezes it into the back of the net. But he's offside. McLean. He's got it out wide. We've just got to clear our skirts. He does. And there's a 1-0 win over uh, Stoke. Not the best of wins, to be fair. Scrappy game, but to be fair, a win's a win. Three points on the board. Stoke are fighting for their lives. So, to be fair, a win's a win, like I said. I'm very happy to get the three points first game of the episode. Uh, and hopefully we can push on now for a win against Villa. So, unfortunately, we've had an injury to Fosu Mensa. He's out for about two months. So, it's big blow. Disappointing. Uh, Ailing comes in, so it isn't such a loss um, in terms of obviously quality because Ailing is a good player. But it's more of a loss that we've only got two right backs now available. And every game I have to take off the full backs just due to how tired they get because I have them bombing up and down and overlapping. So we always have to sub them. And with Harding being our backup, he's always on the bench. It means he's got to be back up for obviously any games coming up. Uh, in close proximity to each other so it means we're going to have to try and see if we've got anyone in the youth academy as a right back and bring them through and we have with Liam Hughes but the bad thing is he's only 15 so we can't bring him through his potential is quite good to be fair 78 to 84 so I really don't know what we're going to do um, we're going to struggle to be fair we've had a transfer offer for Majoika uh, our backup striker he doesn't really get a look in now since we've brought that Pedro in from Watford uh, and we've also got Kamara who come from was it Fulham 
So, yeah, he doesn't get a look in. I've put him on a transfer list. Uh, his current value is 3.5. We've been told we can get up to 3.2 for him. He's in his final year. And we've been offered by Ghent uh, 2.75 uh, million. So, I'm going to try and negotiate. If we can try and get 3.2, that'd be great. A couple of hundred thousand more. It all adds up. So the only change we've had to make for our game against Villa is that force change we spoke about. Luke Ayling comes in for Fosu Mensa. Prado's still lacking a bit of fitness as well, but we are going to start him. Also, Lee's struggling a bit as well. So them pair might not last a full game. Definitely Prado, I don't think will. Uh, but it's it's good to keep our well our strongest team other than that one change. Uh, very important we do try and get a win against Villa because we've got that hard game coming up against Man City which the odds are all against us. So we are going to get straight into this. Hopefully we can get another win. Greenwood inside. Lee still got a lot of work to do. On his left foot, just too much power in the effort. 24 minutes gone. It's our first real chance of the game. And to be fair, it's not really a good one. Just too much power. Aileen gives it to Doku. Oh, tries to play Phillips in. We get lucky. Lee gets it from Doku. Lee on his right foot. Oh, what a save. Greenwood get it away and he can. Oh, God, that was close. I thought Greenwood was going to get tackled. He took his time to put it into the back of the net. It's a great save by the keeper from Lee. Lee's weaker right foot. We'll have a look now. He has a lot of work still to do. Gets dragged wide, but what a save that was. Greenwood's there, though, to put the rebound in into the back of the net. Takes his time, like I said, but he puts Leeds 1-0 up. Greenwood. Got a lot of work to do. But can he get the shot away? He can. Always rising. Henry Lansbury out wide to Pereira. He's going to cut back, is he? No, he's not. Takes it round us. We've got to get rid of it. That's a good defensive header. Doku's on the run. He's got a lot of work to do. He has to bring it inside. Click. Ah, oh, it's intercepted. And there's the full-time whistle. A 1-0 win over Aston Villa. Not the prettiest of games, same as the Stoke game previously, but a 1-0 win, three points on the board, very happy, two wins out of two so far. So we agreed on a fee for Majorca, uh, 3.15 million for Ghent, uh, and obviously it got accepted, it's all finalised now, so we'll have 2.1 million going into our transfer budget. Uh, I'm thinking of just keeping the money, whatever we're doing, and I'm going to bring some pre-contract players in for next season. I've already start, uh, started scouting a couple some big name players it might not be realistic but the only way we're going to improve and try and win the prem uh, and any more cup competitions we can try and win as well um, is by improving the team uh, you expect to see it in real life don't you that's the only way you're going to improve on the season is to get better players in so it might not be realistic like i said but like i said it's, it is the only way we're going to improve so we get into the final game of the episode against manchester city it's going to be a tough one um obviously a good team everyone knows they do really well in the seasons that we've played so far. But two wins out of two. We also got a win in the cup as well. So you can say three wins out of three. Two one nil wins weren't really the best. But uh, to get the win, that's all, that's the only really important thing, isn't it? Obviously get the team morale up a bit. And hopefully try and cause Manchester City some trouble. I'll take a draw before the game. But if we can try and cause an upset, even better. Sterling. Oh, he beats Ireland for pace. Works it inside. Kevin De Bruyne back to Sterling. They get the ball in eventually. White clears. Only as far as Bernardo Silva. He smashes it back in though. White. Oh, what was that? Was that a touch from White? He falls to Aguero. Look at his touch here. Wow. Oh, he swings at it. And that's when Aguero smashes it. And what a save by Patricio. Short corner. The ball in that. Gives it to Sterling. Fake shot. Doku heads clear. Sterling works it inside. Oh my god, Man City, what happened there? Come on lads, it's poor defending. We do clear it there as you can see, but Sterling just a little ball inside and no one's marking. Poor marking, very poor. It's 1-0 Man City. Prado, inside to the lead, that's a good turn. We've got to get the shot away quickly. And what a goal it is on the stroke of half time. Lee. Unbelievable, mate. Good turn as well. And an even better finish. Look at this. Turns his man. PK it is as well. The experienced defender. 
and he smashes it into the roof of the net and it's a great finish Edison stood no chance whatsoever and he's put us on level terms with one Man City he's now 1-1 Greenwood finds Lee on his weaker right foot the shots blocked back to him on his left and it's straight at Edison good chance Prado little ball over the top and it's a great ball to Greenwood one on one with Edison oh he smashed the post mate he's all at referee are you mad De Bruyne Patricia what a save that was I thought he was in as soon as I seen that net ripple he was going to target and Patricia what a save it is pushes it wide it's a corner for Man City we clear with Davis, who's not long come on Cancelo they work it wide they work it now inside De Bruyne and we can't get a block in and Patricio can't pull off any great saves there and De Bruyne smashes it into the back of the net captain for Man City as well and what a goal it is we couldn't really do much about it to be fair his quality yeah we can't really knock him what a goal it was we'll see that again from the corner we, we just couldn't clear it and De Bruyne's got so much space that's a great ball this could be dangerous they've worked it inside Sterling can we just stand up we can't no oh Davis corner for Man City click clears maybe one last chance no Lee loses it to Silva Silva gets it to De Bruyne a little drag back oh that he's just beat him so easy Patricio Gavas, we're just going to smash it up. The ref's going to blow the isn't he? And there it is, a full-time whistle. A 2-1 loss to Man City, and De Bruyne wins it for him with an absolute stunning goal. Couldn't really knock him, to be fair. Um, Man City had chances, but so did we. I think a fair result would have been a draw. But a 2-1 loss to Man City, two wins out of three in the league for this episode. So at least we got the six points in the other two games. So this is how the league table looks in after this episode. Uh, we've played 13 games and by the looks of it so has everyone else we do sit in 6 on 28 points scoring 21 goals conceded 11 with a goal difference of 10 so doing very well so far uh, would have been better obviously to at least get a point off Man City it wouldn't have made a difference in the league table but it would have put the pressure on on the top 5 uh, I say the top 5 I don't think we're really going to chase Manchester City but we are only 4 points off Manchester United a big goal difference so they've got between us uh, 15 more goals they've got uh, in goal difference I mean so yeah it's, I think we've got to start scoring more goals and uh, we're not really conceding many to be fair we are keeping a couple of clean sheets but it's more goals we've got to score so as we scroll down the league you can see where teams are we're just ahead of Chelsea 8 points clear though so doing very well we are uh, we're scrolling down now as you can see uh, and Arsenal still in the relegation zone they have got 5 points on the board now uh, Sheffield United only got three points and there's Stoke no points at all only scoring three goals conceding 34 so very disappointing season at the moment for Stoke and even Sheffield United and especially for Arsenal uh, they can still get out of it though they are only one point off Burnley who are out of it uh, but yeah you never would have thought they'd be there imagine that if Arsenal get relegated what a shock that would be Anyway guys, that is the end of the episode. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you next episode guys. Take care and I'll see you soon.